get into the first game here. FD is the pick. Really aggressive start on Master Raven's part, trying to get, again, these forward throws, whatever damage he can get out of this, into a reset, into reading his uh, next approach. But he gets on with that ledge hop down air. Very good at poking his shield. What I feel like happened with that ledge hop down air, it got blocked, but I think uh, Master Raven might have gone for like a nair out of shield, but rapid attacks being very good against that. Oh, Shofu. Uh, so Master Raven versus Shofu. Shofu, of course, very, very famous in the community. Did a lot of poking streaming once he came out, but. His fox is still here, and he's here to win. Very, very solid play from both players. We have a very, very close game as well. Uh, going but into this first stock, I really can't tell who's going to be able to run away with this one just yet. I feel like this point, Fox might have the better kill. There we go. Like that. Catching that landing, I think uh, Master Raven was trying to go for a space out landing forward air, but just got eaten alive by that up smash. That conversion, not going to get too much off of it, be able to uh, combo break out of there. That's not going to do it either. Not, not enough it, rage yeah. on uh, Master Raven's part, but that Bouncing Fish is going to be enough to seal out that stock. Only 28% on the board here. That's easily like what, like two grabs from, uh, from Sheik? But that lead is building ever slowly. Yeah. And Fox, as we were talking about earlier, has you know the better kill confirms in this matchup. He does up smash kills so early on Sheik. Whereas Sheik, I feel like, kind of has to work a little bit harder. That's always does. that's always Sheik's problem in uh, the, this meta right now, is that uh, the characters that just kill her better than she kills them will continue to give her a hard time if she can't simply wall them out. Edge guards are a thing, though. Let's see if this works. Not quite. Fox's recovery is really, really strong. It's going to take being much lower in the blast zone for him not to be able to make it back. Down air up smash will seal this out. Only 63% on that second stock. Very, very strong first match going to Shofu on FD. One of the confirms that Fox does have that if he gets that down air and you don't shield it, it can lead into the up smash and get very early kills. But yeah, as it, earlier in the, the first stock, they're both at about 90%. You know, you think it's even, but actually, if you the look at the characters, I feel like Fox is ahead at that point. The minute that uh, someone loses a stock, yes, obviously, that's a big lead. Like, that's how you can, big indicator of uh, who's winning right now, but. It makes such a big difference when you're a stock down versus percent down, because then you feel way more pressure to move forward against them and try and to make rage, something happen. And rage, too. Rage is a huge factor. Yeah, you want that match. You want that stock ending, and that's one of the things I love about Smash Four is that it is always forcing approaches in some regard, because you don't just have the time to worry about like you had in Brawl or in some other cases like in Melee. You don't only have to worry about the time. You literally have to worry about how well they can kill you at these early percents. Fox is one of those characters that, one of the few characters that you can't land safely behind a shield. Yeah. Very, very strong tool to have, actually. Shields the up tilt, perfect shield allowing him to get the grab there. But no really follow up there from Master Raven. Both players playing really safely here. They're not throwing out punishable stuff except for that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We have, to, we have to always throw in those so far. Playing real estate <laughs> so far comments. That was smart of Shofu to, to stall out there with the shine. And he was ready. He's seen quite a number, I'm sure, of matches of Mr. R against other Fox players like Larry. And the edge guarding is one of the biggest indicators of uh, you know how well this matchup is going to be played for both players. What happens off stage is a big, big deciding factor. Definitely. There it is. I think there might have been a better option for Master Raven to bouncing fish away because he didn't really have anything much else and that obsession was guaranteed outside of bouncing fishing yeah. away. Master Raven continually not able to uh, do really anything to Fox when he's off stage. Shofu is just recovering very, very safely, using that shine to stall out and getting straight to ledge. Trying to go for any kind of down tilt, trying to catch anything, a two frame, trying to catch uh, his head poking just above the ledge with those down tilts on Fox's illusion, but not being able to get it. And he's at these percents, these are the percents that uh, Sheik players dread, because this is where none of the tilts are going to lead Nothing into the kill confirm. You just have to throw out something, or, or I, a rack a percent and then like forward tilt them. As the person playing against Sheik, I always say that if you die to a straight up forward tilt, you're playing the matchup right. He gets the ledge jump back here, finally. 
Uh, stealing the stock. And he's only taking 40, so he's actually not that behind. Good Tomahawk grab into another grab. Right. Tie game, 1% deficit. That 40% real Just quick. Just to go show one grab. Really, your lead doesn't exist when your guys are tied on stock. Oh, get some tilt Ooh. combos. That was a little bit slow on the bouncing fish. Didn't get uh, the ability to actually combo that out. Missing that down tilt. I know he wants it. Shofu missing the tech actually on that there. Master Raven's trying to edge guard so hard, but Shofu being so evasive off stage. Master Raven really does have to do a better job of just calming down and taking the situations for what they're giving him. Such a stressful situation right now for both people. This is where both people are at really strong kill confirms on each other right now. These are the most incredible moments in Smash. Last stock, last hit. Possibly Master Raven's <gasps> turn life on the line. Gets the back throw bouncing fish. See what happens a lot of the time now the Sheiks are doing because forward throw, down throw got nerfed, things like that. They are opting to back throw more, and if you're not ready for that back throw, you're going to be dying into it, and that will, I don't think that was a true combo, but that was a, he has to air dodge right away in order to avoid this, and he did not give it to him. Master Raven bringing it to game three. Let's see what kind of adjustments both players are going to go into this game. Both players feeling immense amounts of pressure right now. Town and City here, up smash is going to be a huge factor, I think. With that low ceiling. Fox I mean, for both people, though, because, I mean, Sheik is going to yeah, be able to get more true. kill confirms out of her throws at earlier percents. That was really strange. <laughs> Pivot forward tilt by Fox is one of the strongest neutral options for approaching in the game. Shofu. As is, yeah. you know, most of Fox's moves. <laughs> Shofu really keeping on Master Raven, though. Not letting him recover and get back to neutral. Throwing out a single laser trying to get the extra damage. Like Got to. You see, he was looking for that down air to uh, up smash there, but Master Raven ready for it. Shields the whole thing. Master Raven's really trying to look for any kind of string he can get right now without putting out too many uh, committing hitboxes. He's doing a very good job so far of staying safe. So far. So far. <laughs> that's, the, that's the trick to avoiding that's commentator curse. Ooh, went for the trump, but actually fell past just a little bit too much. No I, tech again from Shofu. That's the second time. We have a bigger waiting game on Master Raven, getting that bouncing fish to catch his landing. Not going to collect the edge guard. to the ledge there from Master Raven. I think he was trying to go for more of like a ledge hop option to hit him out, but wasn't able to get there fast enough. Mm, oh, gets away. Right. Too high. I think it was too much rage on Fox's part for that to connect right away, with also good DI yep. for Master Raven getting away. Ledge Trump misses the back here. That could have been just a clean up smash, I feel like. So you can see from those kind of like little decisions, and that one as well, they're both extremely nervous. Good shine. Shines the needles. Misses the back here once again. Oh, wow. Away. Able to collect the kill. 131 on the board. Fox right now is going to be looking for any back air, any forward air, any up tilt. Might actually be enough to do it as well. Yeah, but at these low percents, she can get a lot of damage really quickly with the combos. And even an edge guard might be enough to do it, or at least get a lot more free damage. These are the percents as uh, the person fighting Fox, you're going to want to hold shield quite a lot, as Fox does typically have trouble doing things out of his throws. It's run out of smash, though. Good reaction on Shofu's part, seeing a whiff, just from just from seeing that whiffed forward tilt, which does not even have a lot of cooldown, was able to get there in time and up smash. Last stock, game three. Master Raven building his lead. I am liking what I'm seeing a little bit more. These conversions are more about waiting out the next option that Shofu's trying to pick as opposed to earlier in the set, we saw him just kind of going for things. Able to collect. 88% on the board. Looking really strong right now for Master Raven if he's able to keep control of this neutral the way he's been doing all stock. He's Ooh. building up this percent, but Sheik needs a lot more to KO, I think. You know, unless you get that bouncing fish pretty soon. He's looking for a bouncing fish. He's looking for uh, a throw into an air dodge up B read. He's looking for a down tilt, perhaps, into an up B read as well. That could have been an up B read right there. Which is, we haven't seen Master Raven do that at all today. So. Maybe Gets the back air, doesn't collect the kill. Do Not it. high enough percent just yet. Still being edge guarded. Gets back in and text. Good job by Sofu. Still in the game. 124, 132% on the board and gets back to stage. 
really, really stressful. And up air too high right now is going to end up getting him killed. Up almost taking out Sheik. And up smash will do it. Gets him back in. Ledge jump. Chofu stealing that stock and the set. Master Raven not looking too, too uh, thrilled about that one. Chofu 